What's up, y'all? Scott here, and today we're out shooting some mountain biking with Mark Matthews and Jarrett Lindell, and we're going to be testing out these Rocky Talkie radios. So Rocky Talkie sent us a set of these radios for us to work with. Usually when we're out shooting, we have to yell between the rider and the filmer and the photographer to say when everybody's ready, so this is really going to help save our voices. Today we're just going to test out how they work from a range point of view, how they fit into a day of shooting. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also going to be testing out the new firmware update for the Canon C70. It lets you shoot raw internal 12-bit video footage so I'm really excited to see how that holds up in post it's gonna make color grading a whole lot easier and just a lot more capabilities there so let's get into shooting for today this recently got clear cut off the top so the old forested section is gone and we got a bunch of new stuff excited to just session this a bunch start at the entrance again yeah drop in from the top yeah let's just um, yeah just start trying out how the radios okay. feel in the workflow okay give me a shout when you're all set up and I'll drop in I'm ready to go. All right, drop. I suck at shooting. I'm gonna need you to come back up. Uh, I'm a little rusty. No problem, I got him under. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. I'm just looking at the trail ahead here and there's kind of like a rocky bit right before those few trees. Okay, sick. You have to set up your gimbal and everything or can I drop pretty quickly here? Give me a couple minutes. Okay, you can drop in 15 seconds. So far the radios are working out really well. He's not super far away, so we're not really pushing the range of them, but just being able to communicate, update him where I'm at. You know, I was setting up the gimbal a little bit ago and I just was able to let him know that uh, I'm just gonna need a minute before he can drop in. So I'm really appreciating that factor of using them. That's sick. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of like blown out back there, but I think like with the raw, hopefully I'll be able to like pull the highlights back. Yeah. Okay, Mark, I've got an angle, I'm ready. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, you want to try works. a more sideways one or? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you can see the e-bike really well. Yeah, it's sick. We could we could take that branch. Out. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> How's your shot, Scott? Uh, it's getting there. Finding a frame here. I think it's gonna work. Right now, I'm lining up a, a long lens shot. We've shot this section of trail a number of times before, so just for some creative interest, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I've always shot it with a wide angle lens or a drone, and so going for something that's got a lot of compression in the shot. When I'm setting up frames like this, I'm trying to figure out ways to create layers in the forest, and so I've got this tree really close to the camera, just kind of grazing the edge of my frame, and it's kind of an out of focus element. Then I've got a next layer of trees that are sort of out of focus, and then the trail will be in focus in the background. And so it makes the frame a little bit more interesting, adds more depth to have those different layers. And so it's always trying to get your camera low into the foliage or just kind of knock yourself between two trees or something like that. All right, Mark, we're ready to go. That up. <laughs> Messed it up, Mark. All right, that last shot did not work at all. I was racking focus and having to move the camera and just kind of failed at both of them. Um, this time I'm gonna give the autofocus in the C70 a try. I haven't had the best luck with it through the EF adapter, but it seems to be behaving okay on my testing on the screen here. So it'll be interesting to see if it keeps him in focus. The autofocus actually worked pretty well on that shot. It seemed to track him all the way through. The only problem was when he exited the frame, I had kind of hit the foreground uh, and the autofocus jumped to that being in focus. The radios have been working out really well so far. We're going to do a bit of a range test now. Mark is going to head down to the bottom of this trail and check in periodically just to see where we lose reception. And then we're going to meet him down at the bottom and session a few more features on the lower section of the trail. 
Yeah. Hey, Scott, are you there? I just hit the clear-cut section below us. Yeah, I read you loud and clear. You're about, what, 500 meters or so? Yeah, I'd say at least the trees are pretty far away. Radio check. Do you copy? Yeah, you're still coming through really clear. Yeah, I'm actually at the vehicles right now at the very bottom. Sweet. All right, well, uh, enjoy your ride back to the top. All right, we're to the last little section of trail we're gonna work on today. We're gonna just have a few features here to session, um, and then we'll get out of here before the rain really kicks in. Okay, ready? Okay, drop in. All right, that is it for today. We managed to get all the shots in before the rain really came. The Rocky Talkies came in clutch to make sure we knew where Mark was as he was doing multiple laps all the way from the bottom of this trail back to the top and just saved our voices when he was dropping in. So really excited to be bringing these in as a regular piece of equipment that we're using on our shoots. Thank you all for watching. Until the next video, get out there, make something beautiful, and I'll see you all soon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, that's rad. You guys sound tired? Yeah. That was a good day, though.